Lord, everybody. Hello. This is the prophetic word today. We're going to continue our studying through uh, kingdom marriages and uh, dealing with uh, hopelessness today and having a hopeful heart and how God causes the believer to have a hopeful heart. And Anna's going to go, our uh, focus today is going to be in Psalm chapter three, and she's going to read through the entire chapter, and that's going to be your homework. And then we're going to go over to Romans chapter nine, and that's the other part of this hopeful our hope, um, how God puts hope in our hearts and how he does all of that. So, Anna? Okay, this is Psalm 3 out of the NLT. O oh Lord, I have so many enemies. So many are against me. So many are saying God will never rescue him. And you guys might be in that hopeless situation right now where there's people around you who seem like they're your enemies and they're, you know, talking all these bad things and saying that God has forsaken you and he won't rescue you and they're really discouraging you. But God wants you to know um, from verse 3 to 8 what he says about that. It says, But you, O Lord, are a shield around me. You are my glory, the one who holds my head high. I cried out to the Lord and he answered me from his holy mountain. I lay down and slept, yet I woke up in safety, for the Lord was watching over me. I am not afraid of ten thousand enemies who surround me on every side. Arise, O Lord, rescue me, my God. Slap all my enemies in the face. Shatter the teeth of the wicked. Victory comes from you, O Lord. May you bless your people. So, he is a shield around us, guys, and he will protect us if we are his people. And he wants you to know that there is hope in him, always. That's right. And the reason why there's hope in him is because he's a merciful God. Let's go over to Psalm, or not Psalm, Romans chapter 9, verse 15 and 16. He's talking about how God's uh, mercy and his compassion affects the believer's life. In Romans chapter 9, verse 15, it says, For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whomever I have mercy, and I will have compassion on whomever I have compassion. So then it is not of him who wills, nor of him who runs, but God who shows mercy. Many times when we're in a hopeless situation, we think that we have exhausted all of our resources to stay hopeful. And to stay hopeful is to meditate on God's mercy and compassion. Not what you're doing, not the desires that you have, or the ability that you do with what the desires you have, but the God that shows mercy. We have a merciful God that gives us the ability to look forward to the day, to look forward to the week, to look forward to what he has in his promises. Because we know that all the promises of God are yes. Every promise that's actually from God through his word is always yes. There's never a no in God's promises. When it's a no, it doesn't have anything to do with God's promises, but his mercy is still there. That's why we have mercy every single day. So we see here again, so then in verse 16, so then it is not of him who wills, nor of him who runs, but of God who shows mercy. Don't listen to those who think, who are telling you that not even God cares about you. Because you are breathing and because you wake up every day, um, you have to know from that very act that the mercy of God is new for you that day. And so there's going to be a purpose. There's going to be all these different things that God's doing and will do in your life. I hope you guys remember that today. Yeah, have a good day, guys. God bless you.